All right, you guys, it is day eight of your Stronger Together Challenge. We are starting the week off with chest and back supersets. This type of training can increase workout intensity, bring greater muscle growth, burn more fat, optimize your workout time, and a great bonus, increases aerobic demand. Equipment today is a variety of dumbbells. The lowest that I'm gonna be using is eight pounds all the way up to 30 pound weights. A Pilates nine inch mini ball and your mat. Go grab your gear and make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any new workouts. Roll your shoulders back. We're gonna start with a rounding of the back and then really opening the chest up here. So round and then open up. So in this workout today, we're gonna to do superset, which means back to back. We'll do one movement focusing on the back and then the chest. And if you need a little bit more time for transition, I did put that in. But the faster you get through your transition, you'll get more reps. But don't hurt yourself, right? We're gonna squat down, flat back, and then round, flat, and then reach up. So come down, little cat cow. Drop your butt down, really tuck the tailbone, and then open the chest, reach up. Right knee comes up, cross the arms in front, and then switch. And as you're crossing, you're kind of like a little stretch in your low back, and then open up the chest. Then we're going to be doing an inchworm. Jen, I'm going to come back on this side. You can go to that side, right? And we're going to round down, walk out to plank. Pause for a moment. You can drop the hips and then lift the hips. Walk back, roll up, and again, round down, walk out. Oh, round and well, wake up that midsection along with your arms and back. Roll it up. We got a seal cross jack, so it's in and out or tap. Open close, you can crisscross the legs if you want to. Open the legs up, hands behind the head. We're gonna get a little dizzy. We're gonna circle around to that right. Keep going in this direction. If you get a little dizzy, put the brakes on and find your balance. One more time around, switch directions. Is the room spinning for you yet, right? <laughs> it's good to work a little bit of this. One more time around. Put the brakes on, Woo, reach it up, reach it back. Oh, arms go down by the side, give me a shoulder roll. And we are getting ready for the first movement. Good morning, we're gonna be hinging at the hips. Weight goes behind the head or in front of the chest. We hinge forward, dropping the chest down with a slight bent knee and then press the chest back up. I'm gonna be using 20 pounds in the good morning. Softness in the knees, brace your core. And then hinging from the hips, and then pressing yourself back up. This is very similar to a deadlift, but the weight is in a totally different area. So this is why you don't wanna go super duper heavy. So we're kind of pausing at the bottom and then coming up. So when you come down there with me, stay for a moment. Feel what engages. So you're pushing through your heels, especially on the rise up. The next move is gonna be chest press. 
That's a heavy movement. We're gonna use a little Pilates ball on our back. So chest press, you go as quickly as you can. You're not gonna hear any buzzers here. So I'm gonna put this in my upper back and right into chest press. Now the reason why I put the ball there is that I get a little more range in my chest press. So if you have a bench, that would be a great option. Oh, and by the way, I'm using 30s. Went a little bit on stable surface with that ball. You feel that? All right. Knuckles up, wrist is straight. And then you have a 20 second break. You can get one more, get one more. There you go, nice job. All right, we're gonna go back into that good morning. So the transition, I give you enough time to go as fast as you can to get into that second movement. Now you know, five seconds, good morning. Grab your weight, hinge forward, pull yourself up tall. And take that little moment, right? You can pause for a moment and then press yourself up. Try not to round your back at all. It stays nice and flat. So I always have that feeling like I'm pulling my head back into that dumbbell. And I like to inhale on the down, exhale on the up. You got one more and then a quick transition Chest press. Find where you need to be. So if you want 40 seconds, it starts right now. And it's actually kind of good. Oh, I'm kind of wobbly on that ball. How about you? Oh, that was a good challenge. And when you do those heavier chest press, guess what it helps you out with? Your push-ups down the road. Okay, we're gonna have a 20 second break. Get into the next grouping, which is a wide row next. So wide row is the first one. Super job. What weight are you gonna go with? What do you want? All right, I'll do 25. I'll do 25s. Wide row. Drop the chest. Pop up and squeeze. Elbows come to your back pockets. Pinkies out, thumb is in. Pause at the top, right? So there's a pinch and then let it go all the way down. That length. Again, this should be a nice moderate to heavy. We have chest fly after this. You could use that ball again. Nice job. What are you gonna use? I'm gonna do 12s. I think I have the funny 12. To, um, we have a funny 12. It's actually 12 and a half pounds. <laughs> Fly. Weight is up, open, and squeeze. And this one here, I have that ball a little bit more behind the bra area. And my tailbone is on the ground. To, Keep me stable here. Inhale, you lower, exhale, you're up. Hey, look at your arms. You have a little bend in the elbows. Wrist stays straight. So I'm gonna make sure I put that heavier weight in my other hand. Okay, here's your 20 second break. We're getting ready for the row. We got like the, the collection here. Yeah, the whole, whole weight rooms are definitely right here. I'm gonna go for that 25. Grab your weights, drop your chest. Wide row. 
Remember, it's consistency that is so key to these workouts. And then making sure you get enough rest, which is good sleep can help you tremendously. Remember flies coming up after this. You try to go as quickly as you can, but as safely as you can. Right into that fly. See how, you know, this little ball is like one of the best tools to have at home, right? Okay, in that fly. And I'll link in the description box the one that we use because it's sticky. It means it doesn't go flying out from your legs when you use it. Inhale, open that fly, exhale, squeeze it together. This is so good for your neck too. Okay, have that head up. Work your neck muscles. We have a reverse fly with a sweep. I'm gonna really light my load. I'm gonna go to threes for that next move. All right, 20 seconds on the clock. We're gonna fly, sweep the arms towards the ears, back out to the T and down. Light load. Drop that chest, arms in T, sweep them front, back out and down. So take your time. So in your back, your rear delts are included. This is also gonna hit your lats. Pause, then reach. And I may have said we don't need the little ball anymore. We do. We're gonna be doing a pull over with that upper back on the ball. Again, that's gonna help increase the range of motion. I'll be using a 25 pound dumbbell. So one heavy or two, if you don't have that heavier weight. All right, grabbing your heavier weight on your back. I'm gonna have that ball in my upper back, either a diamond or both hands on each side of the head. Right, you bring that weight behind the body and back up. I need to have like that real upper back on the ball, you feel that? Or no ball. This just gives me a little bit more range of motion when I bring the weight back. Inhale to lower, exhale to bring it up over the chest. It's not a tricep skull crusher, so elbows stay fixed. You're not gonna let them bend. Movement comes from the shoulder. Relax, how'd you do on that one? Okay, second time around, you're gonna nail it. Let's go back into that fly sweep and then see what works for you too. If the ball was like not working for you, don't use the ball. Okay, roll the shoulders back, drop the chest, T and sweep. Remember, so we're gonna come up, shoulder height, reach. And don't rush this here, because you're gonna feel like you're gonna work harder if you just pause for those moments. your back, your low back is stabilizing you. And then we have to pull over. Remember, the ball goes way up in the upper back. Nice job. My ball's gonna go way in my upper back. Have that weight. Go into your pull over. I'm gonna do diamond this time. Weight goes back. So if you have the ball in your upper back, the weight can touch the ground, like just gently touch it as you take it back. And the wrist stay straight, watch the elbows.
And we have a jack cross coming up. 20 second break. All right, quick break. If you need a quick drink of water, this is when you get it because the next move is no equipment. Not too long though, it's only 10 more seconds. Jack cross, or you can tap those feet across. Make sure you don't hit anything. Jack cross. Zip up the legs and cross those arms. Now the next move we're gonna do is renegade row. We're gonna be in plank, alternating rows. And I'll show you the other option too. You can just be upright and alternate rows. Woo! So right again, right into that renegade row. What do you got? Get into your plank, feet open, alternate arms. Or stay with Diane and Anna and Catherine. <laughs> right? And who else? You could be on your knees, right? Lots of options here. Wherever you are, right, you're gonna keep that core braced, have your back flat. If you're in the renegade row with me, feet are open, butt is tight. A narrow row. So we did wide. Now we're into narrow. Great job. All right, take a breather. Getting into that jack cross. I'm going to come and grab some of your 15s because I don't think you're using them. I'm going to use them. I'm going to bring everything over here. Five seconds, jack cross. Go up here. Bring it in front. Really zip up your legs and your arms. There's a party going on back there. Let's go down back there. Yeah. <laughs> Getting ready for the rows. Take your option. Whew. I'm gonna do 15. I took them from Carol. All right, right into those rows. So when I'm doing the renegade row, as one arm is rowing, the other arm's pushing down into the heel of the hand to stabilize my body. Keep the glutes tight. So we're going to be switching gears and do a lunge back with a fly. Great. Nice job. I'm going to be using eight. We're going to be lunging back. So I would suggest five to eight. As you lunge back, you bring the pinkies in toward one another. So you get a low fly. So step back with the right foot forward first. And switch. So they start down by your hips, out wide. And you bring them in. Touch the dumbbells, right? Can you tap them in? Ooh, eight was heavy. Ooh, where'd you go with eights? Ooh, hey, give me pinkies in though, thumbs out. Try that. Oh, that's harder. What is next? Push ups. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? This is the one you're gonna probably take your time on, right? Come on down. Let's work slow on the down. So just do a slow down and then push yourself up. 
So focus on going slow. You could do a three to five count. And you can count to yourself. <laughs> right? Okay, keep going slow. Slow as you can go, come on. Slow it down. Nice job. Right, you're up. We got that fly. <laughs> I always say, can you count to yourself, right? You can do that. Okay, just like if I was to count every rep. I don't need to count every rep. Here we go, we're gonna go in that fly. We're gonna go in a few seconds here. Pinkies in, thumb is out. Let's go left leg back first. Touch the dumbbells. Don't rush this. Bring it in, then come back. Pause. Whoa, right? Your body's smart, it knows it wants to make it easy by coming out of it faster. And remember, we do have those push-ups again, and you're gonna go slow and count to yourself. <laughs> oh, nice job. Keep that core tight. Shake out your arms. Come into your plank. Knees or toes. Go for some slow. You could change your hand width. You could go wide, go narrow. When you're in your plank, right, button up your, zip up your butt, your inner thighs, your pelvic floor. Now we're gonna be doing a powerful movement next, a snatch. I'm gonna be using 12s. I'm gonna use 15s. And then a burpee. Nice job. So in a snatch, the weight starts down by the feet. We use powerful in the back to snatch the weight up to the sky. Pause for a moment, then bring it down. Two weights, yes. So come down to the feet, powerful up, then bring it down. Drop. Stays tight to the body. I'm gonna snatch it up. More of a nice pull up. Get under. So it feels like one movement versus two. Burpee hand release. Let's go down. You could step it back or you could jump it. Did you need any other options? So hands go down, jump back, drop the chest, lift the hands, step or hop forward. So you go at your pace. Remember, you can walk it, you can jump it. How's that view, Jen? <laughs> I caught, I was like, I was looking back, good job. I was like, that was really, we should have had a little offset. <laughs> okay, shake it out. <laughs> you weren't looking, right? Okay, we're gonna snatch it up. Oh, it's hot in the garage. Grab what you need. Down, power. Right, so toes back flat. Have those knees a little soft.
Burpee hand release is coming up. I'm gonna go a little this direction, how about that? Here we go. Down, hand release. Come up. We make it work. You can make it work at home. We're gonna make it work in the garage. When you hand release, tighten up that back side. A collision, a decision, whirling in my heart, and my vision, a recession. Come on, you got this. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Woo! Nice job, Jen. Nice job, Catherine. My arms. Carol. Oh my gosh. Anna. Woo! I know my arms. Nice job, Diane. Woo! Yay for you. Oh my gosh. Celebrate that win. That was a good one. You guys did amazing. We're gonna stretch. All right, have a little space here. We're gonna do a forward fold, so drop that chest down towards the thighs. Just hang out. Let your low back relax. And while you're there, just breathe deeply. That's gonna help you get into recovery mode, your breath can. It can help you too before you eat. Take a couple of deep breaths, get out of a stressed out state and get into relax so you have better digestion. <sighs> Roll yourself up. We have a chest opener, so hands behind the back, open the chest. You can lift the head up. While you're here too, ground through your heels. Push those hips a little forward. Let the arms go, roll the shoulders. Take that right arm, reach it up and over to the side. As you're doing this, push the hips a little forward and then reach a little bit like back to the back corner like you're pulling your arm. Let it go. Other arm, reach up. Stretch it over. Again, you can do a little corner. From here, we're gonna go to all four. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Take your back arm, thread it through. Shoulder, ear, drop to the ground, look to your hip. So my other arm, my front arm, turn the fingers in, and then I want you to look to the hip. So drop your, your chin to your chest. Do the other side. Up, thread through, shoulder, and head on the floor. And then if you have some space, push back into child. Forehead to the ground. Deep breath here. You can roll your head forehead a little side to side. That helps us to open up that third eye. And then back to all four, cat cow, round and release. Exhale. and then push yourself up to standing. Ooh, you did amazing, oh my gosh. How's that body feel? Just take a moment, check in with yourself, do a big inhale, reach it out, reach it up, pause at the top, reach it back. Hands in prayer, pull it down to your chest. Take a big inhale here. 
and let it out. Oh my gosh, that is it. You did a great job today. Make sure if you enjoyed this workout, thumb it up, comment below, check the description box. So if you do not have one of these Pilates mini balls, this is the one to get. This is the one that we use. We do use the Fit Ball. It's sticky, it stays where it needs to be. You guys have an awesome day and we'll see you back at the next workout. Take care. Great job completing day eight of chest and back. Rest that upper body and I'll see you at day nine for a fun, sweaty cardio kickbox.